Welcome to Gonna Win TV. Today I'm finally bringing it to y'all. I was in the crib. I wasn't doing nothing this morning, so I said, you know what? I said, you know what? Let me get up. Make me a quick video. So I finally done brought the Vox Chevy outside. Uh, grabbed me some flow masters this morning. About to throw those on here. So without further ado, man, let me show you my box Chevy finally. All right here we have a 1989 Chevy Caprice, also known as box Chevy. I ain't give her a nickname yet. Fresh out the body shop. She sprayed up. It's not a Chevy color that's on there. I'm telling y'all. This camera is doing this car no justice, but I'm pretty sure y'all see how wet that paint is. Yeah, nice. You real OG in the inside. Super OG. Super OG. Only thing you, I gotta do, fit this dyno mat in the ceiling, put my headliner in. She fresh. So, now this car originally came from the original owner, and I have proof. I'm not one of them people that be saying, oh, I got my car from the original owner, and I don't got no proof. Hold on. I'm gonna show you the proof. Now, if they can't show you this, they caught not from the original owner, man. If they can't show you stuff like this, hold on. Look at this. Warranty assistance. All of this is original owner stuff. Block out addresses and all that, but. Look at this. That's where they bought it from. Hold on. Hold on. It's more. It's more. It's more. So like I was saying, if they're not showing you all of that, it's probably not an all original car from the original owner. But I resprayed it because I wanted a different color. It was navy blue at first. I wanted something that would stand out a little bit more. So that's why I went with the color that I went with. Um, got some wheels going on there. I ordered back like three months ago. Still haven't received them. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, but look at her. But like I was saying, but like I was saying, I'm about to go get these flow masters thrown on there because I wasn't doing nothing. So I said, let me just bring the car out. Um, I got to get my AC service because I got to have, you can't have an old school with no AC. Everybody know that. So I got to get my AC service and I don't know. We just take it from there, man. Yo, had to pull up on the Cuzzo. Doing this car detailing thing. Get at him on the gram. Word of mouth detailing. He gonna get you right. My boy putting in that work. <laughs> he gonna get you right. He definitely gonna get you right. All that's gonna be going by the time I come back later if the car's still here. But get at him, word of mouth detailing on the gram. Hit him up. Make your appointments. He gonna get you, he gonna get you all the way right. Yo, cuz all, I'm gonna head to this muffler shop. I'm gonna check you later. Yeah, let me do my so thing. We made it to American Muffler, right here in Westbury. You're about to get your boy right. I should have did it before, but wasn't even thinking. But early in the video, my car was running the whole time that was on. You see, you didn't hear not a sound, not a peep. But this thing de definitely solid. It's kind of hot out here, so I'm about to go inside, sit under the AC while they get me right. I'll cut y'all back on when the car is done, give y'all a 
little test hit. Finally made it back around the way. So I didn't cut y'all back on once I left the muffler shop because I ain't gonna lie. I be having so much going on, I be forgetting to record sometimes, but yeah, so we put the, uh, I went with the Delta 50s. I didn't want nothing too aggressive, so that's why I went with the Delta 50 muffler. It gives it a nice little growl, nothing crazy. Like I said, I got a, a nice motor going in here, so that's all the growl I'm gonna need when the time comes, but the Delta 50s definitely made a difference. I could feel it even when I'm riding the car. But she's sitting now. Wish I'd have recorded the video and y'all see up under it, but give y'all a little test hit. Knock this thing over real quick. Look, and I'm on the passenger side too. We ain't got to do none of that. Pat the gas. Nothing. See, nothing crazy. You got a nice sound. I don't know if the camera could pick it up. I forgot my damn tripod in the other car, so I can't set the camera up to give y'all the back view of it, but. Nothing crazy. Now that I finally introduced the car to the channel, I can let y'all know my plans with it. Um, I was hoping just for the summer to just have it on 26s. I did the suspension, did all the brake lines, fuel lines, all of that straight. Um, so I was hoping to have it sitting on sixes. I ordered the sixes back in April. Still waiting for them to come. They haven't gotten to me yet. Uh, just got the car back out the body shop back in May. Uh, AAAA Nassau, they got me all the way right. Shout out to my cousin Boo. He made sure that they took care, real good care of me. Um, I got music that's going in here. Actually, my motor swap, I'm going to take care of that over the winter. I already got the motor in the trans. We gotta go American. Everybody want me to go LS, but I don't know, it's something about that old school muscle car feel where I feel like I gotta go with a big block. I just have to, so I'm not gonna even keep that a secret. I'm going to 454 big block. Uh, nothing too crazy, just cam headers. That's about it, I'm going carbureted. And that's it so far. To be honest, this car's not being built to be a race car, nothing like that. I just want to be able to get it out, bring it out on Sundays, cruise, have a nice little growl, a little pep in the step when I step on the pedal, but that's about it. Um, for the wheels, everybody wanted me to go 4Gs, but I feel like that's the go-to that everybody do, so I definitely didn't want to go 4Gs. And uh, The brand that I went with, it was a new brand. I, I liked a lot of the wheels that they was dropping, but the way that they customer services set up, I never order another set of wheels from them again. They done burnt that bridge. So I'm um definitely if they don't ship my wheels out probably within like the next month. Like I said, I ordered them back April 10th, paid for them, just been sitting waiting for them. They haven't came. I called like every two weeks. They keep telling me that it's stuck and shipping at the ports or something like that. Uh, they waiting for it to be cleared. So if they don't release them within like the next, I would say maybe like three weeks to a month, I'm gonna just call, get a refund. Cause the summer, by the time I wait, keep waiting, the summer's gonna be over. So I'd rather just get my bread back, um, throw it on some rallies, which I already wanted to do anyway. Throw it on some rallies and just ride super OG stock clean for the summer. And then next year, I just have it sitting on a, on a three piece wheel that I definitely wanted to go with. From the beginning the reason i didn't go with that wheel is because they told me that i would have had to wait but if i'd have known i had to wait this long for the wheel that i ordered i would just wait and order the three piece but it's, it is what it is it's whatever so uh what i was saying yeah 
So I'm going to just grab me a set of rallies off of uh, probably Facebook Marketplace, get them redone. Or I might just either order some brand new. I don't know. I got to look into it. But I definitely like the way that they look on these Chevy. So I'm going to go that with some white letters. Tires, call of the day. But yeah, man, this is finally the car. I'm finally bringing it to the channel. I don't know what the rest of the plans is for the rest of my day, but I don't know. I'm just cooling, man. It's a Monday. I'm off today, so I'm just relaxing. That's it, man.